गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज बाइनरी सब्ट्रैक्शन सो इन केस ऑफ बाइनरी सब्ट्रैक्शन बेसिकली वी आर हैविंग टू डिजर्ट दैट इज जीरो एंड वन एज यू नो वेरी वेल दैट इन केस ऑफ बाइनरी नंबर वी आर हैविंग टू डिजर्ट दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू डील विद दीज टू डिजर्ट ओके दैट मीन्स द लाइक नंबर विल रिवॉल्व अराउंड दीज टू डिजर्ट so basically in case of binary subtraction also there are four rules so uh, one by one i'll discuss all the things so first of all you just take a look about binary subtraction like what do you mean by it and what basically we do within it so binary subtraction is one of the four binary operation as you know very well that uh, you know, binary subtraction uh, in or uh, uh, other than this uh, operation we are having some more operations also like addition multiplication division that is it so uh, this operation is similar to the basic arithmetic subtraction which is performed on decimal numbers in case of maths but hence because we are dealing with binary number so that is why we will uh, like subtract two numbers that is 0 and 1 so basically a rule will revolve around these two numbers so in case of like these four rules whenever we subtract one from zero then we need to borrow one from the next higher order digit this is one rule like which you have to kept in our mind so basically to reduce the digit by one and the remainder left here is also one so basically uh, this thing or this rule will be clear with the help of an example also so before that you just have a look for rules of binary subtraction so for fractional binary numbers or you can say like for binary numbers the same rule applies for subtraction also and the decimal number should be appropriately placed within it so the four rules of binary subtraction are as follows the first rule says that if you are subtracting 0 from 0 that means 0 minus 0 then it will be 0 and if you are subtracting 0 from 1 then it will be equivalent to 1 that means 1 minus 0 it will be equivalent to 1 then 1 minus 1 it will be equivalent to 0 then the last rule says that if you are subtracting 1 from 0 then it will be equivalent to 1 only okay but by taking one borrow from the next higher digit and uh, if you uh, take it in a form of x and y then you can say that subtraction of binary numbers is given below like 0 minus 0 is equivalent to 0 1 minus 0 is equivalent to 1 and 0 minus 1 then in case of this uh, subtraction you have to take one borrow from the next higher digit and 1 minus 1 is equivalent to 0 so you just take one example of it basically this is one example and uh, like this is one number i'm taking all the possible borrows and the numbers okay yes so what you have to do you have to subtract this 0001 from 100 so you have to subtract it so basically you just write this first digit that is 1000 but after that below this number you just write the next digit that is 0001 so as you know very well that we always start our subtraction from the rightmost digit so that is why this will be our first step means in the first step we have to subtract this 1 from 0 as you know that 1 could don't be subtracted from this 0 so that is why you have to take one borrow from the next digit but from this 0 you cannot take any kind of borrow so that is why you will check for the next higher digit again it is 0 so that is why you will go move forward to the next digit so the next digit is 1 and from this one you can take one borrow for the for uh, your step so that is why we will cut this one and it will be equivalent to this 0 because you are taking one borrow from it na so that is why it will be 0 okay so that is why you have written over here 
then after that this uh, zero digit this zero digit will be equivalent to one zero okay and one zero if you will check the decimal value of this one zero then it is equivalent to two this one zero is equivalent to two that means whenever we will move forward we will but we will give one borrow from this digit to next digit then obviously it will be equivalent to one so we have written here over here that is one and uh, one borrow is uh, like you are giving one borrow to next digit so again it will be one then after that this first step means uh, this uh, zero will be equivalent to one zero so one zero minus one means two minus one is equivalent to one so that is why you have you can write in the first step in the answer part that two minus one is equivalent to one now in the remainder part this is like in the borrow part it is one so one minus zero is equivalent to one then again here one borrow is uh, here so one minus uh, one minus zero will be equivalent to again one now and uh, in this part it was zero so that is why you have to write zero so this is your final answer for this question then you just check the another example like this is one another example for binary subtraction basically you have to subtract this number this is subtraction basically you just correct it out this is basically the subtraction as i have uh, like uh, taken the symbol of subtraction so you just subtract it like 1010 minus 011 so just write the first digit then after that below this number you just write the second digit that is 011 so it will be like 0 minus 1 so obviously the fourth rule will be applied over here so you will cut this uh, like uh, you you have to take borrow from the next higher digit so you will cut this one and obviously it will be equivalent to 0 okay this one will be equivalent to 0 because you have taken borrow from it and this zero part will be equivalent to 1 0 that means it is equivalent to 2 so 2 minus 1 will be 1 the next part is 0 that means 0 minus 1 that means again fourth rule will be applied over here so you will take one borrow from the next higher digit uh, so at this part this is 0 so that is why you have to go or you have to move forward to the next higher digit so that is where you are moving forward to the 1 then uh, you will cut this 1 because you are taking one borrow so that is why it will be equivalent to 0 then obviously uh, the this part will be equivalent to 1 0 uh, which can be considered as 2 so 2 minus uh, like 0 uh, sorry it is equivalent to because you have taken borrow from it now so that is why it will be equivalent to 1 so 1 minus 0 is equivalent to 1 okay and uh, this part will be equivalent to 0 then after that uh, like uh there's one problem basically like 0 minus 1 means 2 minus 1 is equivalent to 1 and uh, at this part this is equivalent to 0 okay so whenever you will subtract it out then obviously you are taking one borrow from it now so it will be equivalent to 1 okay it will be equivalent to 1 so basically here 1 is uh, like 1 will be placed so that is why you are taking 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 will be equivalent to 1 so that is why you are writing here that is 1 and this part is considered as 0 so that is why you have written over here then the next example that is example number 3 that you have to divide 1 1 0 0 0 uh, you have to divide 1 1 1 from this number that is 1 1 triple 0 so whenever you will subtract this 1 from 0 then obviously it will be 1 0 means 2 2 minus 1 will be equivalent to 1 then this part is equivalent to 1 so 1 minus 1 will be equivalent to 0 then 1 minus 1 again it will be equivalent to 0 then 0 will be placed as same like this and 1 will be equivalent to 1 so this is the final answer of this question now you just do practice of these uh, questions that is one zero one zero one minus zero zero triple one 
then after that triple one zero one minus zero zero one 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 so you just do practice of all the mentioned practice questions over here and uh, once you just solved or uh, you have solved all the questions uh, like all these five questions if you have solved then after that you just check your answer i'm just giving you the answers also like these are the answers you just check it out and uh, you just check it out like whether they are correct or not you just do practice of all the questions so till then thank you everyone thank you so much